you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Welcome to assignment number 12, an award certificate. Let's pretend that in your business, as the manager, you have to reward one of your employees for outstanding performance. Now, of course, Microsoft Publisher would be a great tool for you to use. On the screen, you have a finished product of an award certificate. Congratulations to Terry Harold for recognition of the Employee of the Year. Let's work on it together using Microsoft Publisher. Okay, Microsoft Publisher has been started, so let's choose a blank document. First of all, let's turn it sideways. Let's go to Page Design and choose Orientation and Landscape. The first item of business is to put in the text. So let's go to a text box and we'll write the word Congratulations. Let's modify the size and the font. So we have a title, Congratulations, in the middle of the screen. Now let's put the text in about why the person is getting the re reward. So here in the bottom of the half of the page, we're going to write in why the person received their reward. Now that I have the re reasons typed at the bottom of the page, let's make this a fancier font. Anytime you work with text, it's the first rule of business is to make it the most legible that you can make it, clear writing. However, on a certificate like this, we can get away with some other more difficult to read text. So we could use some kind of a cursive. The idea isn't so much to be readable, but it is to be fancy. So let's pick, this is a very scripty one, Edwardian script. Next, let's put a border. So let's go to shapes and let's choose a standard box. And let's put the box around the edge at the suggested blue margins. Whoa, we've got ourselves a, a box that's filled. Let's take the filling away. Let's go to no fill. And let's do the shape a little bit of a weight gain here. And now let's do a shape effect. Let's give it a shadow. And so you can see a slight shadow around the shape. Now another nice touch is to add some clip art. We can make the border a little fancier if we go to the insert and choose a picture. I'm going to search for a border. There are many different borders to choose from. I'm just going to choose something that is rather elegant looking but not too specific to a holiday. And then I place this picture in the corner of the page. That works great for the top right corner, but what about the others? Well, we can also copy and paste this piece as well. Let's copy and paste. Now, all we have to do is rotate it. There is a button here for rotating. We can choose to rotate right 90 degrees. It looks like that will fit down here in this corner. Let's paste again and rotate again. This time rotate left. One more and then we will paste it in the other corner. 
So to turn it 180 degrees, I will rotate it twice. I'm going to add two more things. I'm going to draw a shape that has a divider line somewhere between congratulations and the rest of the text. Now to make sure that that draw is exactly horizontal, I'm going to push the shift key on the keyboard and then release the mouse. Finally, I'm going to put in a divider. So let's go back to the pictures and choose a border divider. Okay, it looks like I'm ready. Let's print it and we have an award.